by about five points or less. Are there any big takeaways that you guys took from those games that you want to use going into Golden State? Um, yeah, I think we're, we're playing well enough to get wins. Um, it's just executing uh, and being perfect down the stretch. Uh, and T's have been able to do that, and we haven't. And you've been going up against some really big teams. Is it kind of nice to be able to go up against a Golden State team that's kind of similar in stature as you guys? Um, yeah, I guess I guess you can say that. Um, but whoever it is, you know, we still got to play the way we need to play to get wins. Um, and I think we're going to do so. Shay, one of the common things that Billy's been saying um, after games, you know, lost and then the third quarter mishaps have happened, is just wanting to play with more urgency. Like, how do you how do you guys find? the ability to play with more urgency? Because you guys know that the third quarters have been kind of hard for you guys, but how do you find like an urgency to play with? Um, I think it's just discipline us wanting to do it, um, like so many other things in the game. Um, it's one of those things you can't teach it or uh, practice it. I'm um, just got to want to do it and do it. Yeah, and Chris said uh, he didn't know if you guys needed to come out earlier, get loose in some different way, shape, or form. And is there something you guys have talked about that maybe you want to do differently at all? Um, not that I know, but Chris, you know, Chris, Chris will figure it out for us. Um, you've been playing, obviously, a lot more this year than you did last year, just in terms of minutes. What's the biggest adjustment been for with that? Um, trying to, just trying to manage those minutes. Um, really, it's just been more fun playing more basketball. Um, I try not to look at it. Um, as for minutes, just feels like I'm, I'm playing basketball and doing what I love. What's the trick to not being exhausted by the end of the game? Um, I'm definitely exhausted by the end of the game. Uh, so there's no trick. Um, every time I step out there, I just try to do it my own. Shay, you played with Danilo for longer than anybody. Do you have any memories of maybe the first time you practiced against him or first time you guys played together and kind of he just it seems so effortless for him to score and, and get buckets. Do you have any memories from over the last few years that stand out about the way he, he plays and what he scores? Um, yeah, you see it from Gallo every day. Nothing changes from the first day I met him to, to today. Um, super calm, never rushed. Um, and like you said, it looks effort, effortless for him every time he steps out there. Shay, um, I know you guys are playing Portland later in the week and Carmelo Anthony is going to be there. And Just thinking about you growing up and around the people that you grew up with, how do you guys view Carmelo Anthony? What, what, what was he like to, to young guys growing up that played basketball? I'm a prolific scorer. Um, I know so many of my friends that wanted to, to be just like him and play just like him. Um, every time you catch him in the post and score up, you, you say mellow, scream mellow out loud. Um, but yeah, he's been a big part of my childhood uh, and so many guys around me. He's one of those greats. Who did you want to grow be like when you were growing up, at least as far as a player? Uh, nobody in particular. Um, when I was growing up, I tried to take uh, bits and pieces of everyone's game and put it into mine. Anybody else? Thank you. Thank you.